Today we'll be talking about the rot boiler. So we will start with a brief introduction of the breed, followed by its history, its health concerns, its level of trainability, and whether this dog suits you or not. The Rottweiler is a domesticated breed. It is a medium to large sized dog weighing 50 to 60 kilograms in males and 35 to 48 kilograms in females. The size of the male is much bigger than the female. The males are 61 to 69 centimeter in height whereas the females are only 55 to 62 centimeters. The Rottweiler has a double thick coat and they come in black and tan or black and mahogany colors. The breed's tail is actually docked from its original size to give the dog a fierce look. Roddy's lifespan ranges from 8 to 10 years if kept properly with proper diet and regular vet visits. Roddy's have 8 to 12 puppies in a litter, although larger litters of Roddy's have been recorded but an average litter will be 8 to 12 pups. The Rottweiler is a fierce loyal dog, though the breed has developed a bad reputation. Rottweilers are actually very friendly and loving pets. They have a natural instinct to be aggressive towards strangers. So be careful when introducing a stranger to your dog as Rottweilers don't really like strangers and will probably show a very aggressive behavior towards them. Purebred Rottweilers have been responsible for 10% of all dog-related deaths in America, second only to the pit bull. Rottweilers have a very strong jaw, much stronger than that of a pit bull or a German Shepherd. They have this immense bite force which led the police to decrease the usage of Roddies as police dogs, since they did too much damage when apprehending a criminal, and they were mostly replaced by GSDs and Malinois. The bite force of a Roddy is 328 pounds of pressure per inch. All this bite power actually comes from the Roddy's head. The bigger the skull size, the stronger the bite force and Rotties have a big head. Early socializing with humans and other dogs is a must to avoid behavior issues later on when your pup grows up. This kept on going even after the Romans stopped their conquest of conquering other lands. These dogs were still used as herding dogs by the locals after they saw the Romans using them. These dogs were bred with local dogs in the small town of Rottweil, which was basically a trade hub and thus the Rottweiler was created. These dogs proved their worth by moving cattle to market and protecting them from robbers and other wild animals. The breed was created as a herding dog and have been used in various other fields such as protection work, guarding a property, and pulling carts. The dogs got their fame during the Middle Ages where they became famous for also guarding the money pouches tied around their necks by their owners to keep their money safe. The demand for these dogs fell after the railroads became a primary method of transporting livestock into the market and thus the demand for Rottweiler declined over time. But in recent years, the Rottweiler got its fame back, not as a working dog but as more as pet dog with a fierce look. Now we will be focusing on the health concerns of Rottweilers. Unfortunately, due to overbreeding, the breed has developed certain health issues such as hip dysplasia, shoulder problems, weak bones, and cancer, which is one of the main reasons for early deaths in Rottweilers. So when you decide to get a Rotty, make sure that you get one from a reputable breeder. Make sure the parents don't suffer from any of these health issues. Rotties will usually eat anything and are not picky eaters. So if you have a young pup, make sure you don't overfeed it as that can cause a puppy to become overweight which causes stress on its growing bones and thus causes the bones to not develop properly and causes weak bones. Overall, Rotties can adapt very well to any kind of environment as these are rough and tough dogs and adapt well to any kind of climate. Rotties shed a lot and they do require to be brushed often. Now let's proceed to the level of trainability that is required for a Rottweiler. Rotties are easy to train and do very well in family environment but remember, early socializing is a must for this breed. A properly bred Rottweiler is calm, confident and never shy. The dog doesn't get scared from a fight and are very protective of their family, thus making them excellent guard and protection dogs. The dog has an inherited desire to protect and guard its property. The Rottweiler is a smart and adaptable with a very strong work ethic. If properly raised, they turn out to be fantastic pets and bond very well with their family. They aren't friendly towards strangers. 
and they inherited this trait from their descendants to make sure when you introduce your dog to strangers, ask them not to make any sudden moves and to remain calm until the dog gets comfortable around the stranger. So in conclusion, Roddies are beautiful yet fierce looking dogs. If properly raised, you won't need to face any aggression issues. The breed has health issues and a monthly vet checkup is a must to keep your dog's health in check. The Rottweiler is highly trainable with not much excessive energy levels like the GSD or the Balinois. They tend to gain weight very fast, so you will need to monitor your dog's weight at all times. A 30 to 40 minutes walk daily is a must to keep them from becoming obese. Roddies are easy to groom, they do shed a lot and daily brushing will keep the shedding under control. Roddies also drool a lot so if you are planning to keep them indoor, make sure you clean after they have drooled to avoid any embarrassing moments when your family friends show up at your place. That's it for the Rottweiler, we'll be making more exciting and informative videos very soon. If you found this video informative, please remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day.